Brand family, and we are house sitting for Doug and Stacy, who offer at Homestead. And today we're going to talk about um, some of the things that we've learned this week as we head back <coughs> home today. Um, some of the things that we're going to miss, and um, and what an experience it's been. wonderful week and we are so thankful for um, the opportunity to bring our family out here and um, Doug and Stacy and trusting their home and all their animals with us. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful week. There are going to be some things that we're going to miss, um, some things that we've learned and so um, let's start with um, Amelia. Why don't you look at the camera and tell the camera, some, tell the people out there some of the things that you ha um, are going to miss. The cats and the horses and the sheep and the ducks and the two dogs. Tell the camera. And the two dogs. And the two dogs. And the two dogs. Alright, what about you, Gabriel? What what did you what are you gonna miss about being out here? The cats, the dogs, the ducks, the sheep. All the animals. What about you, Noah? Probably the kittens and Faith and Scout. And probably the ability to just be go fishing whenever pretty much you want. I was wondering when somebody's going to mention the pond <laughs> and yeah. fishing. Probably the ability to just go fishing whenever you want to. What about you, Eliza? I'm going to miss the kittens, specifically Arnold. When he um, uh, sneezes so huge. He goes and um, uh, <clears throat> the ducks. I love Daisy. And going to women. What you saying? <clears throat> Pretty much everything except the heat. Except the heat. <laughs> <laughs> everything except the heat. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And so, um, what about you, Dad? What are you gonna miss? Uh, I won't miss the heat, but we'll still have it. We'll just have a way to get away from it. Uh, I'll just miss the. Uh, the openness of it, I like the openness of it. Um, the, the space, the space, not having neighbors right on you. I don't, the work doesn't, the work doesn't bother me all the, I mean, this is just upkeep stuff. You look around and you see all the fencing and stuff like that. I mean, they work their tail off uh, getting this place put together. The upkeep is, is, is pretty easy, but, but uh, yeah, I miss the space, the, the open space and, and the, um, the, the freedom to, you know, I have to get, I don't know, I mean, you can walk right outside, and, which I've had that experience before, you know, I'm, so like I've, I've lived in the country before, but when you can walk outside and take a leak off of, you know, the off the side of the house, Go to the bathroom. you're living pretty good in my book. <laughs> um, so um, what will I miss? I'll miss the peace and quiet out here. Um, the, um, Lack of neighbors is really nice. The ability to let the kids go out and just go out and not worry about where they're going or what they're experiencing. Um, we can't do that at home. They are limited to the front yard and the backyard for the most part. Um, so to be able to just say, go, go on outside, go explore, go have fun. And um, that's been really, really neat. Um, I will really miss that part a lot. Um, I'd, I'd say that the peace and quiet the animals, we'll all miss the animals. They've been so much fun. The horses? Um, all the animals, yep. Yeah. We'll really miss those. We'll really miss the animals a lot. Yeah, the horses are cool. Um, so, did anybody learn anything this week? Never. Cats are more fun than you thought? Cats are yeah. always. Tell, tell the yeah, We don't have any cats. My wife, Jennifer's allergic to them. So always. We don't have any cats. They, um, cats aren't really like. Don't get behind or the horses. You all yeah, the don't time. get behind the horses. They're, we don't want to. These ones are more like, like there's one that will let you like lay on your lap while it will lean its head back and you can like pick up its paws and move them around anyway. It's not like, no, so not, like, like I wouldn't say move them around. Good. That would be more gentle than they're, yeah. They're, yeah. yeah. But you know, like, it doesn't get, like you can work it like a baby or hold no, it. No, no cash care. Was that one's name? Or, Did anybody else learn anything this week? Did you learn anything no, else? <clears throat> Um. Here's the oldest. What'd you take away from it? Probably 
<coughs> is this what's the question again? <laughs> Where did you learn? Right, have you learned anything this week? Okay. Um, hmm. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Um, poor Darcy, I have to do a lot of editing on this one. Tip. 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 Okay, okay. Um, oh! I don't know, man. Let me think about it. Okay, we'll let you think. Um, I learned that the Amish actually are very um, <clears throat> welcoming if you are respectful to them. Um, that they are not, they don't shun you if you are, um, if you are gracious to them and courteous and, um, and, and, um, Treat them with respect. They are, they are very welcoming. Um, I also learned that bee stings really hurt, and I haven't had one since I was a child. And um, I'm assuming it was a bee. It was either a bee or a wasp. But when we were fishing yesterday, I, uh, there was a bee. I'm assuming, and I swung at it, and I guess like it's it, it's. Well, I looked down and it's stinger, and part of its part of its body. Good. Body. Yeah, it was stuck into my finger, right at the knuckle, and I kept trying to get it out. It was really hard to get out, and I finally did get it out, but my finger was swollen and sore all day, and I couldn't bend it, and today I'm fine. I think it was a bee. They really do hurt. I haven't had one in a long time. I always that, had them on the face. Yeah, if okay. it, if yeah, I didn't yeah. get, whenever I got stung, it had to be right on the face. I learned a lot of things. I learned that animals, that these types of animals are really enjoyable. Um, <clears throat> I learned a lot. I learned a ton this week. I learned. I that learned. Dealing with that electricity is not a big deal. Dealing with that AC, yes, but dealing with that electricity is not a big deal. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. But honestly, you know what? We by the time we came in at night, by the time we got in at night, and we we you know we light the the, the heat the, the lanterns the oil lanterns. Um, we did, they didn't stay lit for long because we were crashed. So I mean, in the winter time, it might be different when it starts getting dark at five thirty six o'clock. And you're not going to bed that early, but uh, but in the summertime, oh my gosh! By the time we turned these on, it was it, it was looking you're looking for bed anyway. So it, that really didn't didn't uh, didn't matter. So I mean, it was an inconvenience um, on in some things, but it, nothing that couldn't be getting couldn't be got. I remember what was it a year year and a half ago, I think. And this was very small, but we decided our microwave broke, and so we decided to go without the, to do without a microwave. And you know, baby steps of altering our lifestyle, and that was a baby step. And I remember people telling us how how nuts we were to even consider it, and they couldn't go without a microwave. And that's been such a minor, that's been yeah. such a minor inconvenience. That's that's easy to to do away with. That was not. So I don't I don't take a lot in stock of when people tell you oh they couldn't do this that or the other because when you actually do it, most of the time just depends on what your priorities are and what you want to do. If you want a microwave or if you want to live there. Go right ahead. That teaches on. Um, but for us, it wasn't that big of a deal. And I think we could, I think we could blend into this fairly easy. The you know? only problem that I have with microwave is everything takes okay. twenty minutes. Okay. It does take longer to cook things without a microwave, but it's okay. Yeah. But, but I mean, I can go best. without it. But yeah. um, when you're so anyway, we need to wrap this up. We already do so. so so anyway, um, we have been felt very blessed to be here this week. Um, that they have entrusted us to take care of things for them, and hopefully they come back and it yeah, looks like it looks like we didn't miss the beat. And yeah. they, it looks like. What are y'all we saying, Doug and Stacy? So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to Doug and Stacy. Thanks, guys. It's been an, an awesome week. Thank so, you. So we want to say goodbye to the Homestead homies. Bye, Bye Homestead homies. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and comment down below. Comment right here, right here, right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so today we are going to try to make a pot roast um, using the sun oven. And we've never used a sun oven.